Hey everyone, so in a previous video I shared how uh, two quick tips for hyperlinking text boxes in Articulate Storyline. Most of the time uh, people are looking to hyperlink a specific portion of the text, uh, in which case you would go from um, the insert tab and insert your hyperlink that way. Uh, other times people want to hyperlink an object, in which case you can just select the object and create a trigger. Now, one thing that I wanted to share today is that when you create a hyperlink, your hyperlinks have properties and they have a default property. So if we say open up this, um, this open URL and sorry, just click on um, your actual file or URL, you can check the file or URL to see if it actually opens, but you also have browser options and a lot of folks don't change the browser options. They just keep it at the default. But if you go into the browser options, you can choose whether you want, um, the target to display in the current browser window and if you want it to display in a new browser window, and then if so, do you want there to be browser controls, no browser controls, and do you want your window size to be default, full screen, or custom? Now, what I recommend is having all of your links open in a brand new browser window because then it keeps the, um, the target separate from the actual training program. Um, so it doesn't, you don't run the risk of opening in the current browser window and it navigates away from uh, the training. And I like to just keep the default browser controls, but you can opt to choose no browser controls. And then I like to keep it either at default width or um, custom and then define the custom the custom width and height. Now, I will say that something I recently learned that's going to be, it's not going to be important when Internet Explorer 11 finally uh, makes its way out. But what I discovered with one client, and it was in their LMS, but I could also replicate it on SCORM Cloud. And when I had the links uh, set to a uh, custom window size, which I normally do to open a new browser window, custom window size, Internet Explorer wasn't giving them their, um, their expansion. Um, the, like the, the expansion icon was grayed out, so they could minimize, they could close, but they couldn't uh, expand or resize. So that was a bit problematic because they also were unable to scroll and um, what we found in <laughs> triaging this was that if we changed the window size to full screen that for some reason was the trick to get that expansion icon to open or uh, activate in Internet Explorer 11. So just a random tangential tip there.